Welcome, 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 YouTubers, to another edition of Dancing Clear Interviews. So, you know, Dancing Clear, the leader in sound system culture. So, just go and big up yourself, Dancing Clear. I'll be your host today, Sean T, right? Right. So, people, we got a twist today. It's a different thing today. Trust me. So, who we have here? We have a comedian. And he goes by the name of Mr. Earl Vassell, a.k.a. the Pink Panther. How you doing, my brother? <laughs> Let me take off this thing. I can't talk to you tonight. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> okay. You know, but I'm done to put it on back. We are set. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, my brother. You good? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Still fit and strong, you know, fighting through the whole of the COVID thing. And, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm you, still bro. there. I'm still there. So, Pink Panther, tell me a little mm. bit about yourself. Where you come? Where you coming from, bro? Where you coming in from? What do you mean when we coming in from? I mean like when we born, when we come yes, from. Yes, definitely. Well, when we born, we a bad place, you know. We born at Kingston 12, yeah. Jonestown, Kingston, Jamaica. Okay. Specifically, Arnett Garden, you know, in place there. Eh? Yeah, come here, they come from them place, the boss. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. So, um. When did you when did did you start your 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 comedy in Jamaica or since you came to England? Well, well, as a Jamaican, I have to start in Jamaica. I come to England with me, a old man. Okay. So so <laughs> so I start about in in the seventies, you know. Okay. About nineteen seventy nine, we depend it. Wow. You know, we do what we call, what call it concert in the village, in you know, different places. You know, in a Spanish town, the place where we used to live after a while, after leaving Kingston, you know. I started my career about 79 in Spanish town. Wow. And doing community concert, barbecues, suppers, and all those things. And, you know, but the thing get a bit larger than that after a while. And, you know, started okay. to do other things. Okay. Yeah, okay. Man. Yeah, okay. So, where did, where did the name kind of like Pink Panther come from? Is that like from school or from your left school? No, but looking at me, you see the frame. <laughs> 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 looking at me, you see the frame. But, you know, all this thing coming. I did a show back in Jamaica in 1984. Because you know, a company called Ralph Ones Theater. Ralph Ones is responsible for Roots Theater. You know, Roots Theater. Right? Okay, yeah. Because them days, they, you know, them days, the Roots Theater was just burnt. The rough Roots Theater, and it was like coming up. Okay. But I was fortunate in them days that I am one of the pioneers. That help, you know. I did some shows, shows like Sexy Village Rooster, you know, that in the in the eighties. I did a one called Hobia Hobia Wedding. Okay. I did yeah. the next one called Can Man. You know, I was very large in you know, the acting fraternity at that time in Jamaica in the eighties okay. coming up. You know, but when I did a show in nineteen eighty four, um a show called a Can Man, they wanted someone to come out and stand up and talk while they catch the Can Man in this club. So they asked me to, to do a little thing, you know. I didn't know I can do it, but them they asked me, so I just do it. Okay. And then it was a big surprise. Then the birth of Pink Panther. They used the rhythm, the Pink Panther. Pan -up, pan -up. Pan -up. So, but uh, uh, my name was Earl Vassal, and it's still Earl Vassal. Yeah. But through them use that rhythm behind me, the crowd there, when they finish, they keep on calling this Pink Panther thing. So I said, wait, but career there. <laughs> as, a, as a stand up. So yeah. I, I continued. And I look like him. So you okay. know, I continued doing the, the, the stand up, them way there, you know, until okay. further on, it get bigger, as I said. Yeah. The more you go, it get bigger, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I know that um, you've been in many, many good plays. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Um, but you're also, you're also connected to the dance hall. Yes, and that is a big, that, you know, say, as an as an actor, comedian, dance hall is my biggest, biggest, when I say biggest fame I get. No comedian don't do that, you know, remember, you know. I did that in Jamaica, and it, uh, like in 1988, 89, uh -huh. that time, the, I break out in Jamaica as a dance hall comedian. Because it's not me really make, make up this thing, you know. It's a lot of artists in Jamaica, like, ban band member soul man say when you when you talk the joke man you need to say something upon the rhythm when we play it and i said but say what because i was afraid because them days you know when you go up on stage and talk and you're not talking good enough, a buckle them fling <laughs> no seriously it was buckle days when them stone you off yeah, you know yeah. so i was a bit 
I kind of confident for talking to joke, but the first time I tried to do it, it worked out. Okay. And um, so I was just like a dancehall artist, getting the crowd to jump, just like how Shabba do it, and not like everybody. Do it. That's all my thing really was. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, nice. So, who was what? What what sound system did you was you working on in them times? No, but I was a live show performer. Okay. I wasn't a sound system person. I used to perform with with sound systems, but mm -hmm. I wasn't affiliated to say this sound and that sound and that sound. I wasn't affiliated to sounds. I was affiliated to live concerts and acting and those things. But most of the shows that I do is all the musical. There's a sound there, a rap band. So I'm like a musical comedian in a sense, okay. you know. Grow old I know I might adjust some of what I the, the, the jumping up and all of those things, but you know. Okay, okay. So I know you was in you, you worked on sounds and but any any um buddy in particular, because I know you work with someone like um was it Barry G? Yes, you yes, work yes. Barry G? Yeah, again, Barry G, God bless him. Barry G was one of the men that really make make Pink Panther. Okay. Barry G never make Barry G play music to what you call it now to, to make number one songs. Mm -hmm. But he made me a number one comedian. Okay. Because um that this happened in nineteen eighty nine when I was living in Spanish town and Barry G came there to open some mother's party place and some friends them, you know, the people them in the community. Those time people are very encouraging, them used to <laughs> push you. Yeah. So them yeah. decided to take me out there. I went out there and that was it again. Okay. I was live on the radio for about 25 minutes, JBC radio for about 25 minutes. Wow. And then that made me, Barry G, give me that chance to talk on the radio. And then he gave me another chance at Fort Clarence Beach, 1989, that them said, the newspaper said, Pink Panther, the, un <laughs> the unknown stand-up comedian, dominate. A show with 40 Jamaican artists. Those days, cause those days, the, show, the show is called Beach Carnival 89. Okay. It used to keep every year. And about 50,000 people and all them things upon the beach. And I, I feel proud of myself that day because I make more name. And then I went to Farron for the first time. The foreign, I did the show this Sunday. And I went to Farron the Wednesday <laughs> to do a show. When you say Farron, which Farron? England or yeah. America? No, I went to a place first called, the first time I ever got on a plane, I went to Grand Cayman. Oh, yes, yes, yes. called yes. Grand Cayman, you know? Okay. And that was a good event. I went with Sanchez and Chula Yu and Red Rose and those people I went with. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And it was, it was, it was good. It was good. And the interview on the radio and then I got a contract in suite up in Grand Cayman to go there. I did a lot of club shows there after and all of that. Okay, mm -hmm. so let, let's, let's rewind times a little yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah. Was you funny at school? Was you, was you that no, kind of person no, at school? No, 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 no funny business. When you just talk to me, don't tell me about funny. <laughs> tell, me, tell, me, tell me comical, comical and witty. You can give me All right. comical and witty. <laughs> was you yeah, witty yeah, at school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because I was a serious, I was a serious man. Okay. Because when you're going to the ghetto, you know, yeah. this funny business don't work. Because you have to be able to defend your sister and your brother and everything. And you, you have to be able to stand up, you know, as a ghetto For real. person. So the funny business wasn't a part of me, you know. Mm -hmm. um, until I was, why I be, oh, I enter into this thing. And I was trying to find life. You know, you're trying to find a way. Because everything is about suffering and all of those things. So you try to find a way. You try everything. I used to sell up on the street. I used to do everything. Until... I reached round to this. I went to school at drama and all them things there without money. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know. Sorry, I thought he was gonna say some more, you know, bro. No, 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 no. Depends on what you ask me, you know. You know, because like like in them time, I as I said, the dance hall comedy is the biggest element. And um nowadays, you know, you know what's happening now. I still have it. I still have the same style. Mm -hmm. I, I don't leave it because I figure out it's something that is original. Because you never used to have comedian who would dominate dance hall shows and, and all them type of shows. So if someone yeah. come with something different. I used to use a chimney. Piss spot, you know it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to use it as a satellite dish. <laughs> <laughs> those, do, those were the days yeah. when like Everything happening, you could create something from it. There was a day when satellite dish used to take over Jamaica. Okay. You have you have some money in the ghetto with some little 
broke down house and all them things there. And the satellite dish bigger than the house. <laughs> Where my room <laughs> and the house back. Because the satellite dish was a thing. Yeah. So I, I, I mimicked that scenario mm -hmm. out of the satellite dish. With a, with a, I use a piece pot and put a piece of wire around it. And that thing still was well, the biggest element to okay. of my career. Because I give me a lot of tours and it give me a lot of stuff. And, okay. And that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was going to say to you, mm -hmm. You've worked with um, some good productions, you know what I mean, Blue Mountain Theatre. Yep, how, yep. how did you get involved with Blue Mountain? I want to tell you this, when, when, one time I came to England um, in the 90s with Dennis Brown, I did a lot of comparing to. After a while I become a compare for a lot of concerts I used to go all over the world, different places that okay. were. This be a compare. I came to Brixton Academy in the 90s with Barry Salmon and Dennis Brown. Wow. Because unfortunately I toured Dennis Brown about four times mm -hmm. on the same stage. And BMC bring him on a tour. I work with Dennis Brown, the last show I'm doing in England. I was the MC. I'm a Smith Apollo. Wow. Yeah, and I, I have that history where I said, I bring Dennis Brown on the stage the last time before him passed, you know, which is a good memory mm -hmm. for me to have, you know. But I work with most of the, those days, I work with most of the top reggae artists. You know, all kind of different artists, you know, various you name them. Dennis Brown is four time. I'm looking at my portfolio, I'm saying Dennis Brown leaflet four time with my name on it. Wow. And all those things, Freddie McGregor, Tyrone Taylor, Gregory. I, I toured with a lot of different artists in those days. Yeah. 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 So who is, um, who, name some, what was the f your, f your favorite artist out of them to work with? Because you know you work with, I know that's a difficult question, yeah. you know, brother. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, I like, I, you see, because I am a contrast. I am the contrast in a show. I'm like little salt in the pot. Uh -huh. You know, we're going to make up the seasoning properly. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I tend to like a show with no funny people on it away from me. Okay. Because when you have that, you're one in the ring. And that's why I always excel when I show because everybody comes singing and stuff like that. But there is so much favorite I have. And... Fortunately, I like an artist because they have a tune that I like. I, I like. I, I used to listen to Richard Spice okay. a lot of times, and I love what Richard Spice sing. He's one of the artists that I toured with before, too. And there is so much I could have named. You can't leave out berries. Yeah. You can't leave out. There's so much ask me. You're my favorite artist. Mm -hmm. My favorite DJ is Buju Bantan. Okay, yeah, <laughs> because yeah. Because yeah. I like his contrast in his music, you know, different type of music Buju Bantan do. So I like. That contrast, so you can go to Bojo for any type of music that you want. Definitely, you know, lovers, uh, you can go to him for what they call it, bad man music, spiritual music. Mm -hmm. Same of a cross section of music that, that I like. And there's some younger ones coming up, but what I find out with the younger ones, yeah, they because of the internet and how people break out these days on the internet, I found out that when they break out and get the whole of hits and them becomes big, they can't manage it. They can't manage the stage because they they're not prepared. Yeah. You do a one track and it just gone up or you do two track. But the staging is different. You have to have you have to have more songs. Yeah. You have to have you, you, you have to stay there yeah. and do it. And that's the problem with them. They can't and the performance is a bit weak with enough of them. They wanna go. But when we yeah. in our favorite days on a laptop, you know, on a lap and on a laptop thing and them thing there. I'm going to plug in something and the little box and stuff. So you have to make a name by doing live shows. Yeah. And go on. The DJ and the dancer that's to go around the sound system. Anyway, yeah, he might have to go there. So the more him go there, somebody will see him go to another one. And so you break out. You, you know, you yeah. used to have cassette. Them the days are real. Yeah, yeah, you know cassette. <laughs> yeah. We used to film up on them cassette, VCR, yeah. or them call yeah, it. Yeah. And it used to go to foreign. Mm -hmm. And if you go to foreign and see up on the this uh, you might get a show because some you get show, some you come to fire you know? okay people see me and them things and and you get invited yeah we get invited yeah nice yeah, yeah. nice you have any funny stories about any artists <laughs> 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 when you was on the road with them well away from away from see the woman them come for the artist them all the way no this is serious enough time i see that okay i i you know i'm not gonna call a name but i see that enough time my artists one time i the books and academy Again, with some very large artists. And a lady come there with one of the artists <laughs> and fling a bullet per stone yeah. on the back door of Brixton Academy. <laughs> the mash on the Brixton Academy door. The promoter, believe me, the promoter had to bring her into the venue and tell her, because she, she said, from the day 
you, you, you breed me. Me no see you again. <laughs> no, serious thing, and I call a name. When the day breed me, yeah. me no see you again. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the boy are 14 now. See. Yeah? So the promoter had to tell her, say, I'm going to take money out of the artist's money and give it to her. She so don't have to worry. And she just stay around there for the day and, and thing like that. And I hide him, put him down in my wall because <laughs> she mad for kill him. There is, there is, there is, there is so much, there is so much story you could have said that happened to them. But it, mostly the story that happened to artists is woman. Okay. There's another thing happened in Birmingham. <laughs> Which <laughs> you gonna yeah. name names or you gonna yeah. or not name them? We let them stay anonymous, bro. Another, yeah, another thing happened in Birmingham where um, a brother came to the hotel for his girlfriend. Mm. And because they take me feel that, you know, because me like a comedian and I can talk to people and make them change their mind. And the promoter said to me, say, Panta, go down there, go down there and talk to the man, man, and tell him, say, tell him, find something to tell him. Because the man, four o'clock a man, the man was sitting in the hotel lobby. Okay. Because the girl came to the show, a club to bus called a club name in Birmingham. And the girl came to the show, she um, came backstage. And she was just into these other these artists and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. For the one of the artists come to the hotel. Then her man was at the show, so he came to the hotel too. When he realized that he knew she was back and she gone with them. So yeah. he came to the hotel. And that was a big problem again. See, you know, see. police came and all of them <laughs> things. Yeah. And people think they're gonna people think that people think they're gonna die and all of those things. And yeah, yeah. it's bully it, it, it could be a whole it's so much stories, you know. I, I hear yeah, you know yeah, what they say, yeah. you know, what what happens on tour stays on tour, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> wicked, wicked. Yeah, man. That's perfect. That's mm. perfect. So, you know, what what's the, what's the future holding for, 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 for Pink Panther, Earl Vassell? Well what's if we the talk future? about now because it's good that you asked me about my past, you know. Yeah. But it's about now. I think I still have it. I still have the stuff, you know, yeah. and I'm smart. I stuck. I stuck to my style of comedy, yeah, because it's different from what somebody else done. And um, since I'm not gonna lie, because since the corona come, I don't do no show. Mm. I don't do a show. I do it for radio interviews and talk for the people and stuff like that. Okay. But I'm doing a live show or, or anything since that. But the future don't look too bad. The corona uh, 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 happened to record. A few songs. Yeah. Because <laughs> when I was guaranteed the first time and I didn't know what to do and it just, you know, I started to get into more music mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I've, I've two tuned out. What's the, what's the name yeah, of the song? One, one of them, one of them, one of Dopey and Gunman. Yes, I saw that. I yeah, saw yeah, that. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. So I made a tune there. Yeah. And it's on all the medium and, and all of that and thing like that. I don't know one wife and sweetheart. You want the one love promotion, big up. <laughs> give me a line from that. You know? Give me a line, give me a line. I would like you and my sweetheart to be friends. That's the only way your jealousy will end. And although you are my wife, my sweetheart, you should not fight. That's, that's the reason why you should be friends. Yeah, the woman now. Well, I am different when it comes to men. <laughs> I do not borrow neither to island. And although I'm, I'm a fool, I don't like to share my tool. Cause that is what I call my bosom friends. <laughs> Well, I know you have some very selfish ways, but can't you see we are living now in modern days? And I don't think it is right that for you, my lawful wife, could ever give you sweet and for my friends. And it goes on, and it goes on. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah, and it goes on. I'll be right, some original tune too, and yeah. all them things, funny songs and all them things. Nice, like, nice. Yeah. nice. So, is that all independent works that you're yeah, putting out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So most, most of the songs that I do these days are independent. Okay. Season T and all them things. Okay, and, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people, people. <laughs> it's yeah, incredible, man. people. Mm, mm. So, you know what? We're going to have a performance mm. from, from Earl Vassell, a.k.a. the Pink Panther anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for being on board and coming mm. through the, the Dancing Clear yeah, man. Um, platform. Yeah, man. Tell yeah, the people that are going to look forward, you know, because I'll be back. I'm going to go away, you know. 
Corona can't stop you, you know, because we still have it. You know, the only thing we can't understand with the corona, we can't te- understand, and we can't take the long distance love making at all. <laughs> we can't, can't manage it, we can't manage it. We die for you, don't you know? Them long distance kissing and all. Like, no, we can't, we can't deal with them things anymore. You know, we can't deal with it, we can't deal with it. Oh. You know, and, and thank John Sinclair and the YouTube crew, you know? Yeah. For inviting me here. Yeah, no problem, no problem. You know? No problem. Okay, you know? Everyone can make it, you know. Yeah, man. But given opportunity, you will make it. You know, yeah. big up, big up, big up, big up. <laughs> so, people, there you have it. Mr. Earl Vassell, a.k.a. the Pink Panther. Okay? This has been another Don Sinclair quickfire interview. Something different. We brought a comedian today. Okay? But it's been a beautiful vibe. It's been a great vibes. And look out for the artists in the future. And you're going to get a live performance from him as well. So, just keep locked in to the channel until the next time people this has been dancing clear reggae vibes interviews kaboom <laughs>